my review on this palette and how I got this look. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ring the bell next to it so you don't miss a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, right guys, it's been a hot minute since we've done a review. We are coming at you with a review. We are doing swatches. I'm showing you a demo of this look. We are talking value for money. We are breaking it down. There will be links below and timestamps as well if you want to jump ahead to certain points. So guys, I will be hosting a Christmas giveaway, so stay tuned till the end of this video to find out more. So we are reviewing this beauty, the Mecca Max All Eyes On You eyeshadow palette. It is limited edition though. It is gorgeous. This is their holiday release and I did this look with it. Fantastic packaging. Oh, just telling you off the bat guys. Super excited when I saw this. Alright, quick lowdown before we get into swatches. So this is limited edition like I said. It's their holiday release. This retails for 40 Australian dollars. There are 25 shadows and it comes with a mirror. 25 shadows. You can buy this from Mecca Maxima or the online Mecca store as well. I'll be using the MAC 217 brush for matte shadows and the Real Techniques shader brush for the shimmers. How gorgeous is the packaging, guys? The colours, oh, it just looks so inviting. I really want to jump in. And I think the colours are reflected in the shadows that they picked. First shade is Flutter, it is a matte, almost bone like shade. Next shade is Cream Caramel, and that's also matte. Then we have Keiko, again another matte shade, a bit of a deeper brown, very cool toned. Then we've got Sugar Sugar, a nice shimmer. And then we have Heart Open, and this is like a cranberry shimmering red, gorgeous for Christmas time. And then next row, Toffee is also a matte, like a nice caramel colour. Then we have Dessert, which is that honey, dark honey brown, also a matte shade. There's a bit of a dust storm there. And then we have Fever Pitch, which is a gorgeous shimmer very deep gold then we've got shimmer which is a shimmer <laughs> and that again is a sparkly shade gorgeous deep copper and we've got sunrise which is almost like a yellow gold then third row we've got marshmallow which is a matte shade and we have rose which is a shimmer Got invite only which is again a shimmer shade almost like a dark brown gold kind of shade then we've got brunette which is a very deep brown and then we have citron which is a gorgeous bright yellow gold and moving on to the next one we have fairy dust which is a sort of like a satin shimmer lavender kind of color we've got violet femme which is a bit more of a deep purple and I'm just showing you that you can build up these shades as well. We've got Plum which is again a very deep plummy kind of brown like a red brown matte. Then we have Guestless which is a very deep cool tone brown. I've got these still in the pan. <laughs> Envy, which is a deep emerald green shimmer. Then we have Flossy, which is a matte, but almost like a satin matte with a hint, a hint of sort of sheen. Then we have Legally Blonde, which is a shocking pink, like a light shocking pink. I'm just showing you how it, you can build it up as well with the matte brush, like it's very buildable. Then we've got Heartland, which is a deeper pink matte shade, almost like a deep berry, which shows up quite bright. 
then we have baby blues which is a bright blue this is another shade that builds up quite well with a brush like on first swatch it's a bit disappointing but as you build it up you can build that you can see how that color builds and lastly we have onyx which is the black shade and the palette again first swatch is a bit meh and then as you build and build it gets better but i'm not left-handed though <laughs> so it's a bit tricky so those are the swatches now to see how i got this look now all right so brows are already done and i'm just going to put the mac paint pot as a base all over my lid and my eyes using quite natural the shades called i really like this paint pot and also because we're doing quite a smoky look it will just help next we're going into dessert and heartland with the sigma e35 brush mixing the two together using that as a transition shade so you can just see where i'm placing that and i'm focusing on the outer corner bringing it in nice motions and i'm holding the brush quite far away so that it's nice feathered fluffy motions and you can see how high i've brought the color up as well because of my hooded eyes i have to bring everything to the top so that when i open my eyes you can still see the look so just working on that blend back and forth okay so now i'm going into guest list with the same brush and i'm putting that in my crease and i'm putting it just above my natural crease again so you can when i open my eyes you can still see it i'm just putting that above it and i'm blending that in blend 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 you can build it up as, as you please just helping to build that dimension so that i don't just go straight into the smoothness and I'm switching to my Zoeva 227, good dupe for MAC 217 and I'm picking the same shadow, just switching the brush and I'm blending that a bit more and with this brush I'm getting a bit more of a targeted sort of specific approach and you can see what that looks like now. So I'm just deepening it up and going back and forth and I'm going back into my E35. I've not added anything, I'm just blending those where they meet and then I've picked up more of Heartland and I'm just blending that over where Guest List and the other two were and then we're going back into the 227 and going into Onyx, the black shade, patting that in the outer V of my eye and my inner corner and then we're going to blend, we're going to blend it up and then we're going to bring it across. So I'm going to blend the outer up and then bring it across to sort of connect them. So I'm making a halo. So I bring it up and across, I'm connecting them and I'm just putting it above my hoodie, above my hood so that when I open my eyes, you can see that. So I'm bringing that color up. So I'm just blending and you can see I'm deepening it up and adding more dimension, deepening it up, blending back and forth, making sure I join them together. Going back into my E35, picking up the concoction I did before, Heartland and Dessert, and I'm just adding some more back into that transition where I've lost a bit of intensity. Switching now to my MAC 242 and going into Envy, and I'm just placing that on my lid, bringing it quite high up. That gap we had, it's okay for overlaps with the black a bit. And we're patting, patting motions, packing it on the brush, patting it on the lid. And we're bringing it quite far up so just pat 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 don't drag otherwise you'll get lots of fallout with any shadow just pat pat on your lid and i'm going back into it spraying it with this any setting spray will do and i'm just patting that on you can see it's got a bit more of a foiled shiny finish once you've sprayed it one and you've put it on your lid you don't need to spray it again so the brush will already be damp you don't want to ruin your eyeshadow you just dab back into it and you'll see it still has that wet look and then i've gone into onyx with that mac brush and i've just tapped it on the inner and outer corner where i've lost that intensity a bit then i'm taking my 227 i've not added any color i'm holding the brush really close i'm just blending where i place that black on top of the green a bit just to blend it make it look seamless and now i'm taking my wayne goss number eight brush and tight lining with onyx the black shade you can use a eyeliner brush if you have if you haven't got a tight lining brush then i'm using my Stila waterproof liquid liner whatever liner you like and the ardell wispies popping that on whilst the lashes are drying i'm going to do my lower lash line using the zoeva 223 it's just a pencil brush again any pencil brush will do any brush that will do the job and i'm just going into dessert all along my lower lash line 
And then I'm going into guest list and putting that in the outer half. So I'm only bringing it halfway. Then I'm going into onyx and only putting that at the outer third, just to bring that dimension. So we're just repeating what we did on the top onto the bottom and blend. And I've done this before I've done my base makeup so that if there's any fallout, I can clean it up and then do my foundation. So it's blending onyx through the outer third. And you can see that where that fallout is. Not too dear, but it's there. As you can see, I'll just open it for some eye candy. So they say, so the brand claims that the palette contains an array of shades in matte and shimmers. They claim that it has a variety of tones and you can master infinite color combos. You can achieve varying levels of glam. So they're saying it's basically versatile palette, different color choices. And you can go for subtle rom romantic look with the rosy pink hues, or you can go for, you can amp it up with the shade like baby blue that they claim is on trend. They do say to apply it to primed lids. Obviously any palette should be able to perform without a primer, but they recommend a primer for maximum payoff with this. So quick thoughts with the palette, um, I do like the fact that it has a mirror even though I didn't really use it but it will become in handy for example you wanted to travel and it's a decent sized mirror as well. I like the fact that there are 25 shadows, it's not overwhelming, there's a good amount. For me especially being deeper skin tone there is a lot of shades that you can use for transition shades and crease shades. I love this row and this blue of what attracted me to the palette. I absolutely love the foil finish. I like that you can, that I could work with them and use a spray and get more intensity with it. These shadows didn't have too much fallout. I did show you in the demo, but it wasn't too, it wasn't too major. But in the pan, um, Dessert, this shade here, did have quite a bit of kickback in the pan, the mattes did. Um, I found that the pigmentation was actually quite nice. The, I could build it up. It wasn't just, it wasn't too pigmented that, you know, you have to kind of blend, 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 but it wasn't underpigmented either. It was just right for me. Nice and soft. Shimmers were nice. Obviously, I had to spray them to make it that maximum impact. The only shades I can see myself not really using are these ones here. So I would say it's pretty well wrapped, pretty good all round. The palette will be great for travel. Looks fantastic. The gold trimming, I mean, it is cardboard, but 40 bucks, you can't really go wrong, <laughs> in my opinion. I really liked it. I enjoyed the look that I did, and I'm actually excited to play with it more. <laughs> want to know the nitty gritty deets of this palette so the palette has 25 shadows they are 1.5 grams each bringing this palette to a whopping 37.5 gram total which is huge that's really really big really good value and um, like i said it retails for 40 australian dollars which is fantastic bang for your buck not a lot of palettes on the market that have got this much variety a lot of them and choice and quality as well that are in the same price bracket to find palettes in this price range you're going into more drugstore so the cost per gram is a dollar and seven cents and then cost per shadow is about a dollar sixty which is fantastic bang for your buck makeup each shadow is five dollars think color pops five dollars us and they only come with about maybe two grams of shadow so 1.5 grams per shadow the shelf life is 12 months they guarantee for 12 months we all know palettes we've all probably got some in our collection that lasts longer than that. It is made in China, which is not really alarming because there are some higher end brands that still produce their makeup in China. For example, Anastasia Beverly Hills has some products that she does produce in China. The Glow Kid I have made in China, so that's not to say it's bad. Um, Mecca Max is a vegan and cruelty free brand as well, so something to note. Comes with a mirror, so great. Cost is there, value for money is there, so I'd say definitely bang for your buck, it is there. Alright, so finally, hit or miss, I'm going to give this palette a thumbs up. I really enjoyed the look that I did with it. I can definitely see myself coming up with more looks. So I'll hopefully be doing a New Year's Eve look for this, so stay tuned for that. I really enjoyed it. I liked it. It was easy to work with and build up, and I can definitely see it being versatile for travel, for doing a variety of looks for summer. Look at the pops of colours you've got. And they showed up on my skin tone as well, which was great. Um, I mean, they do recommend using a primer, but most of us do use primers or concealer at some stage. I have no doubt it will, it will show up as well on, on your lids too. So I think it's great. Value for money is there. You've got a nice variety. It is quite versatile, I think, and it's travel friendly. So I would definitely recommend this. Go pick it up. It is limited edition, so it's only going to be around while stocks last. I presume 40 bucks. 
bang for your buck this is cheaper than my brow products <laughs> i did promise something special i've got something exciting i'm hosting a christmas giveaway on my youtube channel so excited for this just as a big thank you and just a bit of christmas cheer so the prize of the giveaway will be your very own limited edition or eyes on you eyeshadow palette rules are really simple with this one i will also be putting the rules terms and conditions everything down below in the description box so you can read it too okay so to be in it to win it you must be subscribed to this channel give this video a thumbs up and comment below on why you want to win also please let me know how you want to be contacted whether it's just through private message on your channel or email make it easy it is only open to australian residents i will be doing international giveaways in the future the giveaway closes on the 12th of december it is one entry per person and that is it the winner will be chosen at random and it closes it closes 12th of december 5 p.m and that's australian western standard time so perth time and that's it guys that is all. all right guys thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it useful and got something out of it let me know in the comments will you be picking this palette up will you be skipping love to know love to continue that conversation i can't wait to see you back here again guys on your way out don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if you're already subscribed so you don't miss out on any videos i look forward to seeing you back here again click here to also subscribe click here to catch my last video and click here for more from this beauty closet till next time guys